um, or anyone who is still watching, which is probably nobody because I haven't made a video in two years, I think. It was around the time when I was getting close to having my second baby when I completely stopped filming. Um, it was kind of funny because there was no actual reason to. I stopped filming because I completely ran out of space on my camera to film anything. I don't know, it just like, everything stopped working all at once. And I was waiting until I got a new phone, because I didn't want a camera, until I got my new phone to start making videos again. And I got my new phone, that came around, and I was just out of the habit of filming and didn't ever do it again. <laughs> I really planned on doing it, let's see, I really planned on doing it like after having the baby, at least that's what I told myself, that it would be so much easier afterward, which was absolutely not true. That was a terrible um, thought process because who has time to do things after a baby? And I should have known that because it's not like it was the first baby I've ever had, but Oh well, what can you do? Um, but lately, I've just been feeling like I want to make videos again, even if nobody watches them, just for fun. My kids are getting so much older, and I just really like having things documented. It's kind of nice, even some of my old videos from when I just had Aria, I've forgotten things that happened then, so they're nice to look back on. So I'm going to definitely try to start making videos again and just make some memory videos and maybe some like just talking videos. I actually, I feel like I'm awkward in these videos, but I do like making talking videos and there's so much more that I feel like I have to talk about and want to talk about now that I have two kids and have been through a whole slew of more things in life. <laughs> um, so hopefully that will happen. This is, I've been putting it off forever. I've been thinking that I want to do this and I'm just like, oh, but I don't know. Cause it's just, I don't know. It's very nerve wracking when you start doing it again. But today I just decided that I needed to delete a whole bunch of content off of um, my phone. So I have room and I'm just going to make a video and it doesn't matter that my hair's doing weird things today. I've got straight hairs and curly hairs and it doesn't matter that my makeup's a mess. I just need to stop making excuses and just do it. So here we are, just doing it. And I'm sure that this is not the best <laughs> video, but I hate editing. One thing I can't stand about doing YouTube videos is editing. I don't enjoy it at all. So I try to, I don't know, do as well as I can, which I mean, how well can you do without taking stuff out? But I'll just let you see me be weird. And hopefully that's okay because I really don't want to have to patch a whole bunch of talking things together. So you can just see me be awkward <laughs> in between. So what I was going to talk about nothing important right now just kind of like what has happened since my last video and now um so what has happened since then is obviously I've had a baby since I was pregnant everything went well she is a girl and <laughs> her name is Adeline Grace I think I made a video about that actually of our what we were going to name her before I stopped making videos but we did name her what I said we were going to name her and she is adorable she's two and adorable right now part of the reason that I didn't make videos for so long after having her is that she was extremely colicky it was terrible I won't even like it was absolutely terrible um Aria my oldest she was super colicky probably cried for like four months straight not straight but you know like besides sleeping and eating 
it was crying for four months. I told myself when we chose to have another baby that I've already like lived through the worst. I mean, obviously there are things that are way worse that can happen, but like as far as colic goes, I was like, I've had the worst that it can be. Who? So if I have it again, I'm already experienced in that, so who cares? Which was <laughs> very incorrect. Again, I have made a lot of incorrect assumptions about life um, at this time. And Addie was so much worse. Oh my gosh, she cried for six months. Not four, six months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All she did was cry and eat and I want to say sleep, but not really. Because she never slept longer than 15 minutes for probably about five months. Even at night, day and night. I feel like all I did was rock her and rock her and rock her. And it's not like she was sleeping when I was rocking her. It was, she was just crying while I was holding her. <laughs> so that was pretty bad. And I won't say completely because of that, but because of that, um, I did also end up getting some pretty bad postpartum depression, just like with Aria. But this time, it was, <laughs> it was also worse. With Aria, I had postpartum depression mm, pretty bad like it wasn't bad enough that I even realized I had it until like in hindsight but it took about a year before I started feeling normal again like feeling like myself and feeling like we had a routine and I wasn't just like constantly anxious and sad about things I guess um so I wasn't like completely ill prepared, that's kind of what I was expecting this time around as well, but it was much worse. Much worse as in, not like I was like more depressed, I guess, it was kind of the same, just like really, really anxious and sad a lot. I would definitely cry when my babies were crying, being colicky because you just don't know what to do and nothing makes it better. Um, so, but it was worse this time in a sense that after a year rolled around, I started expecting to start feeling more like myself and feeling like I had things under control and it wasn't like as messy and crazy as I was perceiving it to be. Um, but this time it did not go away <laughs> at a year and I haven't ever talked to a doctor about it or gotten medicine. And maybe I should, but it's always been moderately controlled. So I never, like, I can control it myself by doing anti-anxiety breathing exercises and stuff like that. And so I've kind of just been dealing with it on my own. And it's definitely getting better now around the two-year mark. <laughs> and I'm sure I could have made it better sooner, but like I said, it's just not something... That I did, it was definitely manageable, but a lot of other things became unmanageable because of that. So I never started making videos again because I was just trying to survive, pretty much. Trying to keep my kids alive, trying to be a good mom and not feel terrible about myself at the end of the day, which I mean, can we really, any of us really avoid that? I don't think so, but keep my house clean, that kind of stuff. Some other things have happened also as well. Aria has started, started preschool and she loves it. She's doing really, really well and it's adorable to see her go. Um, Dylan has started working out of state. So instead, I mean, he was gone a lot before in my old videos as well. But it was just like working night shifts and he would be gone for like 16 hour break chunks at a time and then he'd come back and because it was like near town he was like an hour out of town where he worked now he works in texas which i don't even know how many hours away that is it's a long way from here he has to fly so he works there for two weeks at a time and i am i don't like to say single parenting because i know people find that offensive so i just say like alone parenting i guess I alone parent for two weeks out of every month <laughs> now and that is another thing on top of like depression and having a new baby who has colic problems and stuff like that that is another reason why I have had such a hard time getting the motivation up to start my YouTube channel again I am 
moderating a local moms group so it's like a little bit of work not a ton more work than I was already doing but I am kind of I always say babysitting adults but they're really awesome it's not really that hard but I am babysitting adults on top of everything else um, I've started my own at-home business of making sorry I feel like I'm losing my voice of making holistic healing products just handmade so I make like lotions and salves and I don't know little things like cold medicine and nipple cream if you're breastfeeding diaper rash cream just stuff like that and just selling them out of my home and on Facebook and that has gone pretty well so far and yeah just a whole bunch of changes <laughs> in the past two years but also a lot is the same so here we are. I'm hoping to do more things soon. I really enjoy filming Day in the Lives. Like I said, I love having that for my own memories and to share with my family who live far away. Um, so I'm going to start doing a lot more Day in the Life. I'd love to do more sit down videos if that's what people like to talk about some, I don't know, mommy or even just like world life <laughs> issues. I feel like I sit around and think about things a lot. I'm definitely like an overanalyzing kind of person. So I am the perfect person for like sit down videos because I guarantee if I have a topic, I've probably spent the past like five years just like stewing about it forever. <laughs> That's why I'm super rambly when I make sit down videos. But We'll definitely get the topic covered. And maybe some more cooking videos. It seems like a lot of people liked those last time I was making them. And we've also, I won't say we are vegan. Because that would be a lie. <laughs> um, we've tried to be kind of vegan-y, plant-based, diet-y for the past mm, eight months, I think. And it's going fairly well. I make exceptions for sure. Like... When I go out to eat, it's free game. I eat whatever I want. Um, and if we are invited over to dinner at other people's houses, I'm not really one of those people who feel comfortable saying that I have like diet restrictions if it's not like an allergy. And so we just eat whatever when we go to other people's houses. But at home, we definitely try to be very plant-based and vegan, as vegan as possible. So we are plant-based, vegan-ish. I would say like 75% of the time um, and we just do it for health reasons so if anyone wants to comment and say like you're a fake vegan you are full of lies whatever I, I know that I'm aware so I already know we're just doing it for health reasons just trying to be more healthy maybe it's not healthy to kind of yo-yo on it I'm not sure it would be cool to go full vegan I would love it to death but we live in a very small town <coughs> with no health food stores. I have none, no options, just your regular like Walmart, regular Kroger grocery store. So we do as well as we can, but there are definitely things that there just, just doesn't exist here, which is kind of lame. Usually I like to go visit family in a town that's like two hours away and they have a Sprouts and I will stock up on stuff, but in the winter, it is pretty dangerous to drive, so I don't get to do that very often, so we're kind of in a rut at the current moment, but anyway, as far, I guess that's a new thing, if I didn't say, that's a new thing in the past two years that we've started doing, um, but as far as videos go, I would definitely like to make some vegan cooking videos, because it, there's a huge learning curve, for sure, when it comes to transitioning away from eating meat and dairy and stuff like that. But I feel like I've gotten pretty decent at it. I'm fairly confident and well versed in making recipes. I actually made my mom a vegan, <laughs> completely vegan, whole grain, um, sugar free red velvet birthday cake. And that sounds crazy. My husband just kept saying, like, what is that made out of? It's made out of air. There's nothing in it. But um, it was delicious. It is so good. So there are good recipes out there, and I would love to share them with you when I can. 
So I'll probably be making something like that as well. Um, and I'm super, super excited because in the next five months, right? What is it? January? This is what happens when you're a stay-at-home mom. I don't ever know where I am. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what year it is. I don't know what month it is. I'm just here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the end of January. So in June, end of May, beginning of June, I am going to be going with my family to Scotland for vacation. My family is in my aunt and my grandma. Nobody else. I'm leaving my husband and my kids home, which is sad, but I just can't, one, can't afford to take them with me. And two, something about flying that far overseas with two toddlers sounds absolutely terrible. So, someday they will definitely go. But I am going and I definitely want to document that trip because I can't imagine, I can't imagine that I'll remember all of it and it needs to be remembered because this is like one thing on my bucket list that's like been on my bucket list since I was like five so I definitely will be filming that on top of everything else and that's it that's kind of my plans this is my rambly video <laughs> of why I haven't been filming what we've been up to lately and what I hope to be making in the future and if you haven't subscribed to me if this is the first time you've watched you should totally subscribe because it's gonna be awesome maybe <laughs> no it's gonna be awesome I'm serious if you like to listen to people ramble about random stuff here you go this is the place because I don't like to edit as we've established I will do as minimal editing as possible so heads up if you hear me ramble, I apologize. If you see my kids throw a tantrum when I'm filming videos, sorry, but you're going to know real life stuff here. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope to see you all soon when I make something. Probably a day in the life is what I see coming soonest in the future. And I just heard my baby. I call her my baby. She's two. I guess she's not a baby anymore. But I just heard my baby wake up. That means all hell is about to break loose because she can get out of her crib. So I better go. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. And here are the kids. Or one of the kids. Since the last time we saw her, say hi. 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 So you haven't been on the internet since you were like one. And now you're big. How old are you now, Aria? Four. You're four. Why are you being crazy? And this is Addie. You were in my belly last time I made a video. Can you say hi? You want me to show them cheetah? Show them your cheetah. This is her cheetah. <laughs> but she called she... it cheetah, but I don't know where my cheetah is. Yeah. She she was on him, as you can see. It she's never taken a binky, but this is her binky. Kind of odd. Can you say hi? Say hello. Hi. Hi. Can you say see you next time? See you, see you next time. time. Thank time. you. <laughs>